It's recently been reported that two watchmen encountered a mysterious creature they couldn't explain. The reports have come from Pakistan and the men said it's happening around flea markets. One of the issues though is that these men have never seen anything like this before. The descriptions have been vague, with one eyewitness saying the creature was black and had glowing red eyes, saying that before they encountered it they had a strange sensation. Another eyewitness gave a better description and said the creature that they saw was a black dog that had glowing red eyes. This isn't the first time a creature like this has been observed. Going back a few years ago, people from all over the world started to report seeing large black dogs that had glowing eyes. Each of these encounters followed a similar theme. Usually the person would be alone. It would be late at night the dog would be abnormally large and it would have glowing red eyes. When reported, most of these encounters are just brushed aside, and officials suggested that what people are seeing is stray dogs. However, the eyewitnesses have said that what they've encountered wasn't any ordinary dog. Some have put forward the idea of it being a cryptozoological creature, such as a hellhound or a dogman. Although these creatures haven't been verified, they seem to closely match what people have been seeing. For years now, people have been encountering black, ghost-like dogs. According to eyewitnesses, the black dogs are said to be otherworldly apparitions that many believe to be hellhounds ready to attack anyone nearby. It's described as being larger than any normal dog, and featuring a shadow-like body with glowing red eyes. Many claim to have encountered the creature shortly after a terrible storm or in areas associated with death, such as that of old places of execution and ancient buildings. Not much is known surrounding these strange tales, however they appear to be growing in numbers in recent years, as many have claimed to have been attacked by these mysterious creatures. As mentioned, another creature that's said to be encountered across the world is that of the alleged Dogman. These have been described as being werewolf-like creatures that seem to possess supernatural strength, and otherworldly abilities. Some have often compared the creature to that of a more dog-like Sasquatch, where others believe it to be more of a skinwalker-like creature. Whatever the case, these creatures are said to leave eyewitnesses scared and confused about what they encountered. It's been reported the Congo is the real-life Jurassic Park. This is because of the countless reports of strange creatures. Tribes have reported encountering large sauropod-like creatures, and when shown photographs of modern-day animals, they state that what they're seeing is something entirely different. One such creature that's been reported by various people living in these regions is that of the Ropen. This creature is said to inhabit Papua New Guinea in the Congo. Some describe the creature as looking like a lodge bat, while others say it looks very similar to the ancient pterosaurs. These flying reptiles lived alongside the dinosaurs. Tribes have said that these creatures like to hunt during the night, and can give off bioluminescence. This is one of the ways you can tell when the creature is nearby. Its main food source is fish, but a more worrying part of its diet is said to be that of humans. Tribes have said that crossing certain bodies of water can be dangerous, as this is where the creature likes to hunt the most. The creature was said to be first sighted by entomologist Evelyn Chessman. Interestingly, she collected over 70,000 specimens, and was very respected in the scientific community. Another creature that's said to resemble a pterosaur is that of the Congomato. Sightings of the Congomato all throughout Africa and strange encounters of the creature have left many believing the pterosaur lived. The name Congomato roughly translates to the breaker of bones as many natives claim to have been attacked by these flying creatures when they venture too close to nearby rivers and deeper waters. Some claims range from its wingspan being 4 to 100 feet wide, and natives have described the creature as being a perfect description to that of the pterosaur. Although many of the sightings of these creatures are limited to the Congo, there are several reported cases that stretch as far back as Papua New Guinea, and all across Africa. Additionally, when European travellers were visiting these regions in the hopes of colonisation or trade, they wrote extensively about encountering winged creatures, 
of which often attached their crew and tried to carry people away. Given the wide expanse of the jungles of the Congo being widely unexplored, and housing a large number of different bird species as well as larger flying species, it could very well be the case that Congo Marto is a direct descendant of a surviving species of the pterosaur. As of right now though, scientists are yet to confirm this creature. For many years, people have been seeing a lake monster known as the Lagerfort Worm, or Iceland Worm Monster. Eyewitnesses who have seen the creature describe it as being a giant worm, and that it lives in the Icelandic lake of Lagerfort. It's been estimated this giant creature has a length of well over 100 feet. Going back, people tell stories of this creature and it was originally thought to be just that. A story. However, as time went on and the story became more and more popular, more people started to see the creature. The giant lake worm is said to have many humps and is often seen swimming on top of the water surface. It's been described as looking like a snake, while others have suggested it is in fact a giant prehistoric snake. In a book called Icelandic Folk and Fairy Tales, it states the origin of the worm. At one time long, long ago, there was a woman living on a farm in the Lagerfort district, close by the stream where it broadens into a lake. She had a grown daughter. Once she gave her daughter a gold ring. The woman instructed her daughter to catch a snake and keep the gold ring underneath it in her linen chest. She did so, but when the girl went back to look at her ring again, the snake had grown so large that the chest was beginning to come apart. Then the girl was frightened and she picked up the chest with everything in it and threw it into the lake. A long time had passed and gradually people became aware there was a serpent in the lake, for it was beginning to kill both people and animals crossing the waters. Inhabitants of the area have come forward and spoke about the creature of the lake, saying that people and pets have gone missing and this is shortly after they strayed too close to the lake. Another legend states that if you see the worm, something bad will happen shortly after. After many years of people seeing the creature, a government investigation was carried out, and they declared the lake creature does in fact exist. In 2012, video footage was taken of the creature, and it immediately went viral. According to the Discovery News, the commission ruled the 2012 video of the Atlantic lake monster is authentic. Every so often people still report seeing the lake monster, and it's perhaps become one of the most mysterious lake monsters on our planet. National parks are beautiful places to visit, and offer some of the world's best sights. Unfortunately, these perfect natural sceneries also seem to hold a secret that many have tried to explain. Many people walk into a national park and are never seen and heard from again. This strangeness is compounded when regarding information surrounding the missing hikers and campers. There are many experienced hikers and campers who disappear completely. Some such hikers even laying out plans of travel, backup phones in case of emergency, telling family members and friends where their trail will be covering and so on. But when research parties go out to find them, not a single clue is left behind as to what could have possibly happened to them. However, recently it's come to the attention of some that even though there is a worrying trend of people going missing in national parks, there is also an increase in people encountering mysterious creatures. Scientists and researchers who work in the region have said that what people are seeing is nothing more than unidentified wildlife, but the people that encounter these creatures disagree, saying that they know what they saw and it's unlike anything they've seen before. The most recent case involves a camper who is hiking close to Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. It's been announced that this said camper is being investigated for open firing in the national park, and their reason is because they encountered a large humanoid. Two campers were woken up by a scared man with a gun and a flashlight. One of the campers said the following about the event. We got out and saw a man and his son who told us their campsite had been destroyed by someone or something. We heard them coming back about 10 minutes later. We heard them yelling, I see it. We saw the flash from his gun and he shot maybe 20 yards from the side of our tent into the pitch black darkness. 
I was mostly just concerned about him shooting the gun in the middle of the night without him really seeing anything. 911 was called and the couple decided it would be best to stay in their car for the rest of the night. US law states that no firearms can be used within the confines of a national park. Shortly after, park rangers decided to go out and investigate the area, but they said they found nothing. One individual said the following about the incident. I have encountered something strange while hiking late at night in a national park. I'm not going to make any outlandish claims, but whatever it was, it stood around eight feet tall and smelt bad. I've read similar incidents of park rangers going out after people claim to see large creatures. They always say they find nothing, but it's not like they're going to admit it if they did. There are mysterious creatures living in these areas and people need to be careful. However, officials on the other hand have another theory, saying that when people witness these alleged creatures it's always during the night, and during this time it's hard to come to a conclusive answer as to what you're seeing. Something as simple as a tree can have the appearance of a large man, and most of these cases involve pareidolia or normal national park wildlife. So what do you guys make of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Back in 1995, the British government received more than 60 reported incidents taken from locals of Bodmin Moor, of which reported that the residents were encountering a large black panther-like creature, with scraggly fur, a large powerful jaw, the muscled body of a big cat more than four feet long, and black furs making it nearly impossible to see at night, until the creature is close enough to attack. This led to the government starting an official investigation into the area of Bodmin Moor, to try to better understand the existence of the creature and whether or not it posed a threat to the residents. Shortly after the investigation began, a boy found the skull of a leopard on the banks of a nearby river, and many began to speculate that perhaps there was a never before seen local species of big cats in the region. These creatures were then quickly given the name of the Beast of Bodmin Moor, which led many experts quickly trying to assess the situation, and better understand how a leopard could have arrived in the region. Many theories and myths have started that a rich private collector could have been illegally importing the creatures, and they soon found themselves freed all throughout the region, a theory that would help to explain how the beast came to be, and why it would be in the open areas of Bodmin Moor. Others believe the beast of Bodmin Moor is a direct descendant of the native wildcat species that was believed to have gone completely extinct in Britain. This would have happened more than a hundred years ago, but it's now thought they could be making a comeback. Outside of the 60 direct reports of the creature, there have been other reports of leopard calls, hissing, growling, mutilations of livestock and even missing pets. Not only this, but over the years there have been many photographs which show big cat-like creatures, all of which have been taken around the English countryside. Many have been debunked as hoaxes or misidentifications, but there are a few of the 2,000 or so that are recorded every year that remain a mystery. Many groups are gathering data around the UK to try and help to explain the strange goings on near them. As of right now though, there's no denying that people are seeing what appears to be big cats. It's just trying to figure out what these creatures actually are. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.